Hi everybody, my name is Carol Blockter and welcome to our new series, Heroes Forever. The reason we called our series Heroes Forever is because the heroes we can hear about in the media and everyone, the ones that everyone is talking about, they will not be with us forever. They are going to vanish. After death, eventually no one will remember them and their stories will die with them. However, the heroes we are going to discuss in our series are the heroes of faith and they will be alive forever even after death. Their memories and the things they did are always alive in the church. Um, today we have with us... Hi, I'm Andrew Tadros. And hi, I'm Dora Salib. And today we are going to be talking about the heroes Maximus and Demetrius. Have you guys heard about Maximus and Demetrius? Yep. Yes. Awesome. Good job, guys. So we're going to be going over their stories, and I'm going to be asking you questions to see if you're following along with me. Okay? Um, so St. Maximus and St. Demetrius, they were brothers. And they were um, the sons of the Emperor of Constantinople, and his name was Emperor Waldianos. What was his name, guys? Emperor, Emperor Waldianos. Waldianos. Good job. Um, and this emperor, he had raised their sons in the church and they were very close to God and he had always taught them to pray. Um, and one day the two brothers went to their father and they asked him to go to a city called Nicene because they wanted to go over there and visit the monastery to pray. Where did they want to go? Nicene. Nicene. Good job. Um, their father was very happy that they had wanted to go to pray. But he told them that if they wanted to go, they had to take servants and soldiers with them. Because he said, if you're leaving the palace, you need them to come with you to protect you and to serve you. So, Diora, who did the emperor say they have to take with them? The servants and soldiers. Good job. So, they obeyed and they took the servants and the soldiers with them and they went to the city Nicene. However, when they got there, they wanted to be there alone. So they told the soldiers and the servants to go back. So let's review. Why did they want to go to Nicene? Because to um, so that God. we can worship God. Yeah, good job. So they wanted to go to worship God. And why did they send the servants and soldiers back, Diora? To protect them. No, why did they send them back? Do you remember? Um, so that... Um, they could tell their father that they were going to stay there for a while. No, they just sent them back because they wanted to be alone. They didn't want the soldiers and the servants to be there with them the whole time. Oh. They wanted to become monks. So they went to an old monk in that monastery and he told them, Can you make us monks? We really love God and we really want to spend the rest of our lives praying and serving Him. And the monk was a little scared of their dad because their dad was the emperor. And he told them, you know what, like stay with me in the monastery, but I'm not going to make you monks. But after I die, go to another monk. His name is St. Macarius and he will, he will make you monks. So the two saints obeyed and they decided that they're going to stay with this monk in the monastery and they're just going to stay there and pray and serve God. And they had very little money because they weren't working. So this monk taught them how to make ships so, uh, and sails for, sh for the ships. So that way they can sell them and uh, make money. So Andrew, what did he teach them to make? He teach them to make, um, um, to heal people from sickness and to make um, boat, um, sailboat, um, sails for ships and boats. Yeah, so you're right. He taught them how to make sales, so that way they can make money. And you went a little bit ahead of me in the story, but good job. You know the story. Um, at that time, they were healing um, people and they were praying. So anyone that was sick, they would take the sick, like their family members would take the sick people to St. Maximus and Demetrius, and they would pray for them and they would heal them. Um, so throughout, throughout that time. So what did they do? What miracles were they performing, Diora? Heal. Healing yeah. people. Yeah, good job. So they were healing people. And remember, we said they were making sales. So you guys know that when someone usually makes a product or they make anything, they sign their name on it so that everybody knows that that's theirs. Um, so one of the sales they made, there was a, a follower of the emperor and he kind of worked for the emperor. 
and he was on one of the boats um, that the saints made this, the sail for. And he saw the names of the saints on there and he recognized them. He said, Maximus and Demarius, hmm, I recognize these names. I think they're the sons of the emperor. So he went to the owner of the ship and he told them, where did you get the sail from? And the owner of the ship told him, I got these sails from Maximus and Demarius. And the follower of the emperor asked the owner of the ship to describe to him these two men. And when he heard the description, he knew right away that these were the sons of the emperor that the emperor was looking for. He didn't know where his sons were. So he asked the owner to come with him to go to the emperor. And he can tell the emperor um, what he heard and who these people are. So how did the emperor know, Andrew, who, who these people were? Uh, because of they saw the sail written on um, Maximus and Demagius, so he he knew that they were making sailboats and he knew they were nearby. Yeah, good job. So he went. Who went and told them, Diora, about the emperor? Who went and told him? It was the owner of the ship, right? The follower took him um, so um, the follower who did he take he um, he took Maximus and Demetrius with them no he didn't take Maximus and Demetrius he took the owner who had the ship that Maximus and Demetrius made the sails for so when he went and he told the Emperor the Emperor got so excited that he finally found his sons and he knew where they were so he sent two people to go and look for them. He sent their mother and he sent their sister. So Diora, who did he send to go look for his sons? Her, their mother and sister. Yeah, good job Diora, they went to St. Macarius. So let me tell you the story guys of how they got there. So they started walking to St. Macarius in the desert and it was really, really hot and they got really, really tired. So God would provide them with water to drink. So the way that he did that, they were walking um, near salty water. And you guys know we can't drink salty water, right? Um, it's, it's like going in the ocean and trying to drink that water. You can't drink it. It's too much. Um, so when they were sleeping, God turned the water sweet. So he took away all the salt in that water so they were able to drink because it was really hot in the desert. Isn't that amazing, guys? Yes. Yeah, it's such a nice miracle. And guess what? Even more than that, when they were sleeping, God carried them from where they were in the desert and he took them right away to St. Macarius. So they woke up the next day and he saved them all the travel. Isn't that crazy? Can you imagine, Andrew, today you're sleeping and you wake up tomorrow and you're somewhere else? No, I can't imagine. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they woke up the next morning and they were with St. Macarius. And he gave them a cell in the desert and they lived with him for a few years. He watched them pray every day and he would go visit them. So one time when he went to visit them, he saw that they were kneeling and they were praying and there was light coming out of their mouths when they were praying. Diora, what was coming out of their mouth? Light. Light, yeah. Light was coming out of their mouth. Can you guys imagine that? That's crazy, right? Have you ever seen that? They were so close to God that, that when they would pray, light was coming out of their mouth. It's so amazing. Eventually, after three years, St. Maximus died. And San Domadius was so upset that he was separated from his brother. So he prayed and asked God that he would also go along with his brother. And after one week, San Domadius also died because he wanted to be with his brother. And that is their story. So can you guys tell me, what did you think of the story, Diora? It was good. It was good, yeah. Did you learn anything? To trust God. Yeah, to trust God, right? When they were traveling in the desert, they had to trust on God to get, to get them from one place to another. What about you, Andrew? Did you learn anything? Yeah, it's uh, you have to trust God no matter where you are or... Um how you're doing an act. Yeah, good job. So in everything they did, they had to trust in God and they had to rely on Him. And they had to trust that He will protect them even though they were away from their family. They were willing to give up everything for God. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, good job. You guys paid good attention. 
Um, thank you, everybody, for being with us here on this episode of Heroes Forever. And see you next week on our next episode with a new hero. Thank you.